Bueno, chicos, estamos aquí con Don Diablo. Hola, amigo. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Ah, muy bien. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Podemos hacer la entrevista en español? Un poco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So your Spanish is like uh, I under, actually understand quite a bit, but I'm I'm still a little bit shy to speak it. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I've been here many times. I have yeah. a lot of friends in Spain and Spanish-speaking countries. Yeah. Uh, so my, it's one of my things on my to-do list. If I ever calm down a little bit, I want to learn how to speak properly Spanish. Oh, that'd be amazing. Well, Spain loves you. We love your music, your style, everything. I think you're an artist that. Not just with your music, but also with your fashion and, and your, your scene, you know, your videos, everything. You're always like really, really at, um, with attention to the details, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's part of the show, right? Yeah. Whatever uh, you wear, whatever visuals are there, and it, for me, it's part of your persona. Yeah, of it's course. It's not just the music, it's, that's just the start. So. Of course. This is actually from the new collection. Which oh, is really? So tell tell us about it. It's actually the first time I'm wearing a T-shirt at a festival in many years. Because I usually have long sleeves and I have like a whole outfit with like a screen, but it's too warm. <laughs> it's it's oh, too yeah. warm. Here. I'm like I'm just gonna. 40 degrees today in Valencia. Ah uh, yeah. But no. I fucking love it. I, I mean, love it, but I'm like okay, I'm gonna wear a t-shirt for the first time. So. I saw uh, this morning a video on, on Instagram on your Instagram yeah. with yeah like a LED screen. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Tell me about that. I mean. So yeah, what I program the fuck is a that? visual for every different show, and it's yeah. like a different outfits, and the LED screen is attached to the to the outfit. Mm -hmm. I actually had one today with the Spanish flag and everything I'm d it's too hot I want the thing is it shouldn't get in the way of my uh, of, of uh, how I'm performing I mean in a to a certain level mm -hmm. you know to a certain level because I do actually I think it has to it can hurt a little bit mm -hmm. but if it gets in the way of actually me just moving around freely and, and I'm gonna die be sweating yeah that's <laughs> not good that's not good I need to focus because I mix really quick and I'm very focused so. oh man I love your shows I love your music uh, uh, what can we expect tonight here in Valencia in Medusa a lot of quick mixing uh, a lot of special edits I made a couple of ones actually just in the, in the, in the hotel room now uh, right and I'm just gonna try to play as many records as I can in 90 minutes <laughs> <laughs> amazing <laughs> how, was Tomorrowland? how was Tomorrowland Tomorrowland was good, yeah, it was good for me because I decided not to do the main stage for yeah. this year. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you're not on the main stage, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, no just to set the record straight. I want it to be in a dark space. Right. I like playing in the dark, you know, for me, it's um, it's my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. For me, playing on the main stage, you, you have to play to a lot of people that are, you know, want to hear general music. Mm -hmm. And for me, playing in a dark room where I know like all of these thousands of people that are in here, they're there because they want to be there. They're mm -hmm. here for me. It gives me a lot more breathing space. Yeah. You know? So it makes me feel more comfortable. So it was really good for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also a little bit stressful because once you do, you put that show out there online, yeah. it feels like a full reset. Because yeah. then your fans are like, okay, I'm going to watch this show. And I'm gonna, if they're going to go to a show, they expect new things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you work really hard towards that moment and then you have to do the reset again. So of it's, course. It's, it's a little bit, you know. I think you, you're an artist that always, like, you, you're always pushing uh, new creativity new things I remember when I saw your uh, mixing sessions in the bathroom oh yeah uh, <laughs> I, I, I was I was like that's a fucking genius idea yeah everybody was, was going on like on crazy locations like outside that's and the drone best. shots yeah I was like let me do one on my toilet you know <laughs> it's, it's the place you spend a lot of time there I did one yeah, in my, of course I, I did one in my bedroom yeah yeah I've I seen one, I, 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 did you amazing. see the one in the swimming pool oh uh, maybe not I did a drum and bass set in a uh, swimming pool really in the middle of my own swimming pool in my in my house. Amazing. Um, and actually, looking back at it, if you go look at it up now on YouTube, I, we realized I could have probably died because <laughs> we had all the equipment just on a just on a piece of wood. Yeah. Just in the middle of the pool. <laughs> wow. But, but it was worth it. Was it was fun. It was. It's amazing. We're so happy uh, having you here. Uh, Spain is, you know, like a crowd that um, we love you here in Valencia, in Ibiza, in Madrid, in Barcelona. You've toured the world. You've you've made it. What would you advise? Give advice to all your fans that they are listening to our podcast uh, to make it like you have done. Oh, I I'd, I'd advise to uh, first look at why, you know, what is the what does it mean to make it. What does it mean to be successful? Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people are aiming just for success. I think you should aim at artistic uh, gratification. You know, what makes you happy creatively, and then maybe other people will like it, but success is really about making yourself happy and being proud of what you've done. Not looking at what other people think of you mm -hmm. or how many people you can reach, or, you know, it's easy to play a couple of hits or yep. 
copy other people or, or, do or not chasing a sound that is not your sound right yeah it's like be you, you see know, it like a lot now right now right of course a lot of people like okay like uh this so this is this is hot right now so i need to switch to this and they're like okay i got my, i still i got i still got my bookings for me it's like mm, it's cool to implement things you know of, of sounds that work right now but you always have to find a way to stick to your own style and to have your own identity yeah because to me that is what happiness is because if, if that no longer works then that means you have to move on you know yeah so for me it's really it isn't really about how much money you make or how many people you're playing for or how many streams you have you could have 1200 streams to amazing people that really love your music and that might be success that's I think amazing you have, that's man. something you have to remember that's great i think i think that's the you know like you always uh, work in this like future uh, improving you know doing new things oh yeah and you also if you were doing things like that that i remember when i started working on uh, in the world of web3 and nfts of right course. everybody got angry at me uh, yeah, yeah. you know and we're not really doing anything evil we're yeah. just trying to express ourselves exploring new things you we're know exploring new developing, things developing yeah exactly it's the same with music some of the fans get so aggressive like make some more of that the music you made before or where's the old don diablo or Uh, or it's like you, you're doing the same thing over and over, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it feels like before you say anything to your favorite artist, think about what that, you know, what that will do to them mentally. Absolutely. Because we're just out here, yeah. just trying to be creative. We're not yeah. trying to do anything evil. We're just trying to find happiness and to keep our fans happy. Yeah. But we're not, you know, it's not like we're, we're at war here. You know, of this course. is supposed to be fun. Yeah, yeah. You will make us happy tonight here in Medusa. I'm going to do my utter best. Thank Absolutely. you, Don Diablo. Always. Being here is a pleasure for us. Don Diablo y en Medusa, grande! Un aplauso para Don Diablo! Grande, thank you, buddy. Of course.